back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. It's episode number 802. The last 10 episodes, 790 through 799, they generated more mail than anything I've ever done. So we're going to go through all of those. Episode 790, we talked about how to have a split cell. Boy, lots of ideas on how to do this. Uh, Brad sent in the uh, idea first. He said, look, put the 16 up here, put the 24 here, surround all four cells with a large, bold outline, and then draw in a diagonal line going from one corner to the other corner. Very similar to um, Mario sent in a similar idea here where we're using this time two cells, left justifying the top one, right justifying the second one, and again, that is a line drawing the whole things in. Now, of course, it's going to be a pain to copy those lines. You know, I guess what we could do is we could just copy and paste, and it's going to bring the lines over. The line method, though, I think if we have a lot of them, is going to, to drive us a little bit crazy. Like the idea from Tony, Tony said, hey, we're just going to use simple concatenation, make it a fractional display, not as good looking as, as what we originally started with, but certainly functional. So the formula there equal A1 ampersand, quote, space, slash, space, quote, ampersand, B1. But I think my favorite one was from Stefan. Stefan sent in another formula. He says, okay, just hide the numbers over there on the side, over there in A8 and A9. And then what we're going to do is concatenate A8 and then CHAR10, character 10, that's a line feed, and then use the repeat function to repeat a space nine times, and then finally A9 creates a, a great looking view. In episodes 795 and 797, we lamented the fact that it's cool that we can control click the fill handle and extend it to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but then the borders are all screwed up and we cannot use fill without formatting. It changes it back to a 1. Neil said, look, don't put a 1 in there, just use equal row of A1. Probably the geekiest way in the world to type the number 1, but the advantage is when we copy that down, we can now fill without formatting and it uh, works perfectly. You know, and then sometimes we come up with these really crazy ideas, uh, you know, and someone will write in and say, look, you're just making this way too hard. Um, Tony said, okay, look, your only problem is up there with the one. Just put in the number two and then control click and drag the fill handle and copy that down uh, because the, the way the borders are drawn, your only issue is, is with the top one. Although I want to argue here that we lost the bottom border when we did that, but still, sometimes you can just completely avoid the problem. And then in episode 798, I came up with this really complicated way, so that way someone could type 0808, and it would give us August of 2008 instead of August 8th. A lot of people wrote in and said, you know, hey, you just have to teach the people how to enter data differently. For example, 72008, five characters, it's exactly the same number of characters as you want to type, and it does what you want. Okay, so I, I went back to the original questioner, and I said, you know, well, what about this? And she says, look. We have 300 people who have been entering month, month, slash, year, year for years in an old legacy system. I'm never going to be able to train those 300 people, and that's absolutely correct. Sometimes it's just a training issue, and they want it the old-fashioned way, and so I'll stand by the VBA code. Well, I, I really appreciate everyone sending in all these ideas, and I appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.